This is Bob Gildersleeve, a member of the Board of Directors of the Mountaintop Historical Society in the Catskill Mountains in Greene County, New York. This short slideshow features one image created by a photographer with the Detroit Photographic Company around 1905 and now in the American Memory Collection of the Library of Congress. The image is a composite of four glass plate negatives and shows the great skill and artistic sensibility of the photographer. It also allows us a glimpse of a spot many of our members and friends have passed many times as they walk from the Historical Society's property to the New York State DEC area at the top of Cordesco Falls. Let's take a look at the composite image. An Ulster and Delaware train has just left the Laurel House station and will soon arrive at the train depot in Haynes Falls, not the station now owned by the Historical Society, but the earlier one that we saw in our previous presentation. We know precisely where this image was taken because hidden behind the engine is a large rock, which is still there. If we remove the train, we'll be able to see the rock. Let's do that. Okay, it's not magic. I mentioned the image consisted of four separate negatives, one on the right side with the Laurel House in Cordesco Falls, one of the center showing many trees, and two on the left side. I've pieced the photographs together, creating one copy with the train on the right and one without. Great fun. Let's zoom in to see two interesting features in the photo. Here we see the rock on the left side of the tracks. If you walk the rail trail today, you'll find only one rock of this size close to the Laurel House. I have a recent photo of the rock coming up. On the other side of the tracks, there's a post with a large letter W on it. This is a signal post telling the engineer to sound the whistle to warn people near the tracks on the Laurel House Road now the location of the parking area for Cordesco Falls. Here's the photo of the rock as it appears today. You can see how much forest has grown in 115 years. I know it's difficult to see anything more than a passing similarity between the Detroit Photo Company shot and this digital image, and I recognize that it's circular logic to say that we're sure it's the same rock because it's in the right location. And we know we have the right location because the rock proves it. But that's my belief, and I'm sticking to it. There's much more to this photo, not the least of which is the stunning artistic and technical quality. This medium, large format glass plate negatives, has incredible resolution and very little distortion because the flatness of the glass's surface. The Library of Congress scans are also superb quality. Let's pan to the Laurel House and Cordesco Falls for a bit of a closer look. To fully appreciate the quality, we would need to bring in a full-scale detail of the shot. And here it is. The scans we've been using are not full-scale. Although this scan is, we don't have it blown up to its full size. I'm only going to look at one detail, the dam at the top of the falls. Let's zoom in. The feature that's most noticeable is what was known as the spray house. It served as an observation deck and included a long pole with rope and pulley used to lower food to guests who took the stairway to the bottom of the falls. To its right, between the trees, we see a log structure. This is the dam, which accumulated water to be released at times when the stream flow was low. It was located within sight of the brink of the falls so that the operator could avoid releasing the water when anyone was in danger of the onrush of the water. Thanks for watching. The Mountaintop Historical Society, like all of us, has been impacted by the COVID crisis, causing us to suspend our events, resulting in severe loss of our regular income, even as our expenses continue. If you visit the rail trail, please leave a donation in the provided box. If you are able, please consider membership. Details are on the website www.mths.org. Any donations supporting us are greatly appreciated. Thank you.